A big night tonight with the Kookaburras playing for gold against Belgium. Our stars at home, the Hockey One League from Hockey Australia, Mark Knowles. Mark, good morning to you. Mark, how are you, mate? We've been desperately waiting for this call to happen. Oh, mate, so how are you feeling? <laughs> uh, I feel a little bit shaky in the legs today. Uh, first time I've been nervous, I reckon, for about four years <laughs> um, for, the, for the cookers, uh, but certainly excited um, just to feel the... Uh, the warmth around the hockey team at the moment, a uh, bit of love and certainly prime time Thursday night, second or third last day of the Olympics for a men's Olympic final. It's where, where, where everyone wants to be. Now, you're the expert. I was watching the game the other night against Germany and, geez, they started so well. But I start and they were playing so well, but I started getting a bit nervous with about five to go from my uh, very ordinary eyes. It looked like they started to defend rather than continue that attacking style. How did you see the game? Oh, well, you, you could be an expert with that that analysis. That's pretty much exactly what happened. I think um, Cookers were exceptional in the first half. Um, a lot of quality, a lot of good ball movement. I think showed they were good enough to be in, in that match and to also win it. Uh, and then I think the, the nerves around getting to an Olympic final kicked in. Obviously, Germany stepped it up a gear chasing the game. And sometimes you just have to defend for dear life. The boys did it, but I know that... Um, I know that we would have loved them to have had the ball for a little bit more in that last quarter. Well, we've got an old mate of yours on the line uh, to have a bit of a chat. Another Kookaburra who's represented Australia at the Olympics, Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Matt Swan. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Mark. How are you going? Good, mate. Say hello to your old teammate. <laughs> Nalzi, what's going on, mate? Swanee, how are you, mate? Yeah, very well, very well. Just in, uh, in beautiful Macaulay, Queensland. Just uh just uh, in God's country, just 400 k's up the road from where you grew up. Sounds good, mate. That's uh, that's where many people would love to be. Most people don't go past Rockhampton. We know that going <laughs> north, but we'll leave it there, Mark. <laughs> so, Matt, are you as are you as chance or as, as jittery? Is that the right word, Nolsey? Matt, are you as jittery as Mark is this morning? Uh, I'm not sure if I'd be as jittery as Nolsey. Um, Maybe after a few coffees, but I'm definitely feeling the nerves for the boys today, for sure. How do you turn those nerves into precision and quality performance tonight, Mark and Matt? Oh, oh, yeah, I, think, um, yeah. oh, I think, firstly, um, this is a moment that uh, an Olympic final is something that you train for. So there's obviously going to be plenty of nerves. There's going to be plenty of tension. But I also think that... Um, some of the pressure of a quarterfinal and a semifinal um, goes away. And I hope that the boys just continue to grow through these final series. Uh, a lot of hard work, you know, for some players, you know, Eddie Ocken and probably 380 games of international experience. You know, we're talking 15 years this bloke's been trying for this one game. And I'm just so stoked that a, that a legend of our game like Ed gets the chance to, to play in the Olympic final tonight. You know, you've got the other absolute stars in the group, the Zolowskis and the, the Wettons and the Charters and these guys that have been around for a long time. Um, but I think the playing group knows they're ready. And um, obviously, Swanee's on the line. He's a lot closer to it um, than me over the last couple of years. But that's where I think it sits. Matt? Yeah, I mean, the guys have been mentally focusing for this game. Um, this has been the only goal that's been set for us. Um, we want to be the best team in the world, and, and this is a, uh, a perfect chance for the guys to uh, stand up and, and show why they should be considered the best team in the world now. So there, there's definitely going to be those those nerves, but those nerves can be channeled into, um, yeah, exhilaration and, and a lot of um, a lot of tenacity out on the field. Matt, what has impressed you most, most about the Kookaburras throughout this tournament? I think it's been our patience in around the circle. Um, we've been, it's been a massive, um, I guess, working point for the Kookaburras probably since Rio Olympics is how we, how we attack the circle and, and how we get results inside the circle. And if you've been looking at the games, watching all the games that have been played, um, book bars inside the circle have just been so clinical and so efficient that it's 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 really really nice to see. Um, generally, the book bars would be getting 30 goal scoring opportunities a game and scoring maybe five, and at the moment it, it looks like we're getting 13 and scoring five. So 
if we can keep that type of efficiency going, um, uh, I think we, we hold ourselves in really good stead to win this gold. How, do Bel- how does Belgium play? Are they a similar style of uh, game to Germany, being a European style? Will there be any difference in the way they play, say, to the Germans in the semi? Yeah, the, well, the Belgians have been a quality side for uh, over five five to six years now. They've got some really, really good players. Um, they move the ball probably better than what the Germans do around the back. They've got um, some of their strongest players uh, in Ben Doren and Lafayette um, at the back um, who just move the ball so fast that it makes it very difficult for our strikers to be able to press and, and set up our, our zonal half courts, etc. So just be careful... Um, when you're watching, just keep an eye on those guys and how they're moving the ball around the back and, and creating those those attacking opportunities for Belgium because that's going to be, a, I guess, one of the areas where Australia is going to have to really knuckle down and, and, um, and yeah, get the ball back and start attacking themselves. Mark, your thoughts on Belgium? Yeah, echo, uh, echo Swanee's thoughts. Very, very clean, very, very quick with their ball movement. Um, play a very similar structure in terms in terms of the zonal defensive structure. Um, some real qualities he talked about. We're talking about you know Arthur Van Doren at the back. He's won two of the last three World Player of the Year awards. Um, got some real power. We're we're talking you know their penalty corner attack is the best in the world. Um, uh, Alex Hendricks there. He scored 14 goals this Olympics, and he only needs three more to to break the Olympic record for most goals ever. Now he will not get that tonight, which is which is awesome. But 14 goals is just an amazing reward, um, you know, for that for that penalty corner battery, and that's where we have to be. I think as as absolute clean as we can possibly be. A lot of hard work has gone in with Swanee and many others around the circle defence not giving away corners in big matches. And we know that Belgium are going to be trying to force that issue. We know when you've scored 14 goals in six games at the Olympics, seven games at the Olympics, you're going to be going for your big weapons. You're going to be going for your big guns, and that's their penalty corner attack. So yeah. I look forward to watching some of the boys that we both played with for many years um, be at their best tonight. Final question for both of you. The last words from the coach, Colin Batch. What will be the final message to this team as they make their way out of the pitch, do you think? What would you like him to be saying to them? Mark, I'll oh, start with you. Yeah, I'll start with Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, <you're going> right. <laughs> That's oh. a tough question. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. I mean, if, if Thatcher was talking to me, it would just be about the process. Um, we have we deserve to be in this final right now. And, and um, yeah, just, just trust your processes, trust your skills and... And don't go out there and leave leave like leave anything on on the field. Um, just basically take the chances when you get them. Don't be silly and um, and yeah, just do your best. <laughs> what about you, Mark? Yeah, I, I I agree, Mark. I think the big things for me would be um, that you were talking uh, be talking about this as a five year process since he took over in seventeen. Um, these matches don't, like, you don't just come to an Olympics and make the final. Like, this is five years in the making. And as Swanee said, we were very, very open back in 2017 about the mishaps of Rio uh, and how he feels this team can get back to the absolute best in the world. So I'd be, um, I think that you'll be talking about this isn't just this one moment, boys. Like, you've been preparing for this for five years, so you're ready. Uh, I think he'll talk a little bit about the discipline of it's very hard to win an Olympic final if you don't have all your players on the field. And in a cutthroat, you know, intense moments where pressure is absolutely um, at a premium, you've got to be disciplined. And then I think he'd just be talking about small moments, penalty corner attack, penalty corner defence. You know, what more can you do for your teammates to help out? Um, but certainly, you know, this group is young. They're enthusiastic. They don't think too much about many situations. They play. They're bloody good at it. And I guess, uh, yeah, for us, we all just get to we all just get to watch and smile. I hope. Oh, I hope so. I just hope so. It's been a great insight, boys. Thank you so much for your time, uh, Matt and uh, Mark. Uh, enjoy tonight, and uh, fingers crossed, eh? Thanks Cheers, very man. much, Mark. We look forward to. Um, following up in the next couple of days with a with a review. Absolutely. See our stars at home in the Hockey One League. Tickets at hockeyone.com.au. We will take a break here on SEN Gold Coast coverage of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics.